Hey there, folks. Five Tractor Guy here. I figured it's about time for another update. Fall update, that is. It's kind of raining outside today, so I figured it'd be a good day to do it. But anyways, coming to you once again from the 1970 Wheel Horse GT14 as we have over the past year or so now. And there's been a fair amount of stuff going on over the summer, and I figured it'd be worth putting up an update video let you guys know what's going on and how things have been around here. As for the tractors, I haven't really brought home anything new lately. I bought a couple lots of Gravely stuff over the summer. Nothing real special. It was mostly resale stuff, which I was able to flip over. So I was pretty happy about that. I've been starting to sell off some stuff around here, mainly just oddball junk that I get kicking around. Uh, a lot of Gravely attachments and parts. I'm just trying to move out, make room for more stuff, actually, because you never know what you might find. And I'm pretty much keeping all my garden tractors. I almost decided to sell the yard man at one point, but I got it going again, and I think I'm going to hang on to it for now. But I'm just trying to move out some of the useless junk that's been piled around here and just kicking around for a number of years. But I would like to bring home some more garden tractors. It's just a matter of having the time, the money, and the space and whatnot and stuff working on them because I got so much stuff going on right now. But who knows what I might find in the future. So there's that. Uh, as for the trucks, the 64 GMC pickup restoration has kind of started back up again. I pulled out the cab two or three days ago, and I started working on the rear door posts, getting those done, rear door posts, cab corners, rocker panels. So I got a video that I'm starting to work on for that, which you guys should see following this one at some point. Hopefully we'll have some good weather this week, so I'll have a chance to work on that, gain some more ground on it. Because that was... I was planning on having that be a two-year project when I bought the truck, but as most of you know, that never happens. <laughs> so it's probably going to end up being a lot longer than that. Obviously, it's going on two years now, I think. Yeah, it's going on two years, and I still haven't gotten the cab done. But mainly that's because the 61 GMC came into the picture, which that I've been working on some uh, over the past month or so. I was able to get everything done to it and haul my tractors to the local tractor show here in August, which I was very happy about because that was a lot of fun. I ended up finding a three-speed overdrive transmission for it, a brownie box. I think it's a Spicer 5531, which means it has a one speed is underdrive, one speed is direct, and the third speed is overdrive. It's got a 73% overdrive or a 73 to 1, so it'll be a 27% overdrive, which is pretty darn good, so it'll cruise right down the road at 50 miles an hour compared to like 30 or 35, which is what I was doing before, which makes it a lot more drivable, so I can take it to shows and whatnot around here, which is pretty cool. And speaking of which, I am getting the HydroVac booster rebuilt. Well, I had it rebuilt, and I've been trying to get everything back into the truck, running the lines and whatnot. I have to finish that up this week because we have the New England Chapter Truck Show here in Lancaster, Mass, at the Bolton Fairgrounds on October 16th, which is a Sunday, coming up. And I plan on having the truck there, so if any of you local guys are going to be going to the truck show and you see me, flag me down and say hi. I should be there. Be cool to meet some more people. So aside from tractors and trucks, that's really about all that's been going on. I'm sure some of you might have seen the comments from a video when I was talking to Unit Crane on YouTube. I ended up leaving my job June 3rd of this year to work for myself and pretty much chase my own dreams instead of living somebody else's nightmare because I was getting powerful tired of that, let me tell you. So I'm really enjoying what I'm doing now and I'm just working on Gravely's, you know, antique garden tractors, small engines, anything I can get into the driveway. And I have enough work to justify quitting my full-time job, which is why I did it. And it's something that I really enjoy doing, so I'm pretty much going to pursue it. I'm hoping by this time next year, I'll have a building of my own, and I'll officially be Jake's Repair if everything goes as planned, and I'm definitely shooting for it and gunning for it, because it's what I really want to do. So, there has been that going on, which is kind of nice, because it gives me more time to work on my trucks, my tractors, and I kind of can make my own schedule, which is a lot more, a lot better than what I was before. It gives me more time to do other stuff that I like to do. Because I know a lot of you don't know I do this. I also horseback ride, which I really enjoy doing. So it gives me more time to do that. I can go twice a week now instead of once a week to ride, which is really great. 
So it's kind of turned a lot of stuff around for me, and I'm really enjoying it now. And we're just going to have to see how it goes. You know, I'm not too worried about it, but uh, it's been pretty good. So between that and the uh, tractors, that's pretty much all that's been going on. I'm still trying to keep the videos going as I can and as things happen. I still want to do more tractor videos, but like I said, I haven't been bringing home much lately, so there's not much I can do on that without repeating myself over and over again. So it's pretty much been truck stuff, as you guys know, for the past year or so now. And I've also been working on a another montage video of all my outtakes from my videos that I make. Well, not I don't really have that many outtakes. It's more as me goofing around in the garage and my sister's got the camera and we're just messing around in the evening and having a lot of fun so I might be getting that uploaded at some point and there's some Mick Dundee stuff in there too so you gotta get it right up under the plastic right there the rubber that is there you go Mike have a drink of old Mick Dundee yeah blow the floor for that one it's uh it's pretty good but we have a lot of fun so anyways folks there you have it that's pretty much what's been going on around here I figured it's like I said about time for another update video so we're going to keep on keeping on with the trucks and the tractors and see how things go so anyways there you have it